Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode from Warmaster. So today we're gonna talk a bit about World Congress 5. We have has been confirmed uh, from the EFC community, uh, which is the new title of Easy Tech Games, which will be upcoming in 2019. So there's a lot of uh, stuff that we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the release date. We're gonna talk about whether iOS or Android came first. We're gonna talk about the price, the mechanic, diplomacy, the map. Uh, the generals, uh, the price, and the content, and also the final question, which I have updated a few days ago on why Easy Tech Game isn't released free uh, in the first release. So the first question, release date. So for release date, I have checked and also follow the Easy Tech guidelines. Also there, uh, you know, by by looking onto the release date from different games to different games. Uh, back in the days, it would took. Uh, easy tech at least half a year or a year or almost a year eight months nine months to develop games since their revenue isn't that uh, really good but since the exploding impact of world congress 3 european war 4 uh, which uh, which causes a lot of flow of money into easy tech's uh, revenue and they're really happy they are really delighted that's why they keep on updating uh, first of all they updating the mission Secondly, they updated the 1975 uh, Alien Conquest, which is really good, which is uh, a really good benefit for them. So later on, they released the Glory of General 2 Ace, and then later on, they released the European War 5. Two of them were not a really good standard of game of Easy Tech, but they managed to you know try different things. So in European War in uh, European War 5, it's a bit of a cartoon-ish uh, animations, which most people don't really like much. And for uh, the Glory of General 2 Ace is a bit modern, which have no correct flow. And most people said there's no conquest, there's no fun, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So that's what they have been saying. So for the release date, comparing from European War 4, World Conquer 3, uh, Three Kingdom Conquerors, Glory of General 2 Ace, European War 5, and finally uh, World Conquer 4 and European War 6, I can uh, predict that the new upcoming games, uh, and also according to the EFC community, I would say on spring break, uh, which is on March or April, it depends, it depends. Uh, I think it's already summer, right? I don't know whether it's in your country it's summer or not, but in Cambodia, if it's on March or April, it's freaking hot and it's summer. It's really, really hot. And yeah, that's the one point. So we predict because it has been announced since for example, like last month, or maybe, let's say last month, okay, so October, November, December, uh, January, March, May, so it's going to be like six months or seven months, and about the uh, iOS or Android, which one will came first? Actually, it's going to be iOS, uh, definitely going to be iOS, because iOS, uh, actually Apple, they really, you know, working so hard to make sure that their customer uh, we receive the most updated games and also uh, the greatest game, which has more upper hand than the Android version. So that's the the market because Android don't really care. They don't really care how how players or gamers feel during the game. They only feel about the uh, mechanism they're gonna give into the phone. Instead, uh, Apple they manage to make sure that their uh, user uh, will love and also enjoy the services which the they and the developers have been cooperate to provide it to their customers yeah so and for the third one is the price the price i think is still the same one dollar or 99 cents uh in my country it's 99 cents it's a, it has never been one dollars i mean in other country i think it's because of the currency exchanges uh, which causes the price to uh, change. I think it's it's depend. For example, like I have seen so many comments say, no, it's not free. It's sometimes it's two dollars, sometimes it's three dollars, sometimes it's four dollars, sometimes it costs more uh, than just uh, the amount of currency. But since Cambodia uh, also use, we we don't use it legally, but it it's like illegally. But people still prefer to use uh, a U.S. dollar currency here since the arrival of United Nations in 1993 because of the uh, election. So, which caused a lot of Cambodia to use dollar instead of uh, our own currency. But we still use our own currency anyway. So, yeah, the price, I guess, uh, it's just the same price, a dollar or 99 cents, it's the pen as well. Yeah. 
So, uh, the mechanics, uh, the engine, actually, I'm talking about the engine. So, we have different engines. We have the Glory of General engine. We got the World Congress 3 engine. We got the European War 4 engine. We got the European War 5 engine. We also got the World Congress 4 and also uh, European War 6 engine. So, which engine we are going to get? Actually, World Conquer 4 and European War 6, they share the same engine, which means that those engines will be likely to have a no border gore, which if you capture that city, uh, that city will belong into your land without any border gore. That's one of the major uh, changes which, uh, World Con uh, which Easy Tech have updated and also have a lot of impact to players, which also attracts more players to their game as well. So that's the engine of it, and the other thing is the yeah. Uh, also part of the engine is the animations. So I expect the animation to be more realistic or HD. It depends if the if Easy Tech managed to make it HD to make it look so real that we feel that it's so immersive and less than just being 3D. Or maybe it's 3D but really really HD, the high definition point, the game might be a little bit higher because if you compare from World Conquer 3 to uh, European World 6, World Conquer 3, the first release was just only 6 megabytes and for 60, sorry, 60 megabytes. And if you compare it to European World 6, I think it's uh, 120 or uh, 130, yeah. Because right now they are they already changed it, and because more content and also more animations, which causes the game to have a lot of a uh, more animation, uh, also increase the size of the game as well. So I would say the game, I think iOS has less uh, megabytes than Android. I think iOS would be uh, you know kind of less. For example, like if I, if Android got around 100 or 200. Android would got it around like 50 or 100, that's that's the highest they could go. Yeah, and the other one is Diplomacy. Will we get a Diplomacy again? Definitely we will, since uh, in, in Diplomacy has been uh, given since uh, European War 5, World Conquer 4, and also European War 6. European War 5 was a bit bad, uh, World Conquer 4 is a bit okay, which only allows you to attack... Uh, no, which only allow you to uh, send money to your allies only. But in European War 6, you can declare war on every single one of them. So, diplomacy in European War 6 is really good. Way, way better than uh, World Conquer 4. Uh, it's a major improvement. So, which means that Easy Tech have already heard our answer, heard our request. So, that's uh, one of it. And maps. So, many complaints since World Conquer 3 and World Conquer 4. People ask, uh, why the map is so stupid? I, I hate the map so much. It's not really good. I prefer this. I prefer that. The map is so small. Please learn geography. Every single time I have a look at YouTube's of Easy Tech videos, there will be someone commentating, talking about the maps, slaying and slaughtering, ravaging and ravish the Easy Tech stuff of having a bad uh, map. So for the map, shall they uh, make it bigger? I'm not sure about that because I cannot predict, but I can have the this kind of a connectivity. For example, if the game is small, uh, from 100 megabytes to 150, I think the size of the map would be the same as European War 6. But I believe that European War 6 map is really accurate. Really, really accurate. So I think they managed to give all the maps. So a big improvement uh, compared to European War 4. And if you guys think about it, I think... Uh, deplo uh, I think that they, they would make it a bit better, uh, way, way better than just being a normal, normal uh, type of map. World Conquer 3 was okay, I can accept that. World Conquer 4 is also okay, but some, for example, like the Balkans, they are so small. Yeah, the French, okay, and the river, the Volga River. The Volga River was supposed to be behind Stalingrad, right? But in World Conquer 4, it's before Stalingrad, which is not really a thing. Uh, but if you look into detail, it's not really that good. Okay, you can check World Conquer 4 by yourself. And there are many more to consider from the map. But I believe that the European War 6 map was okay. I can accept that, and it's good. And, then I, and I also believe that some player would prefer that way as well. So, for the generals, uh, general, what about general? So, general price, uh, let's say we'll conquer five. Let's, let's say that we have been able to one, uh, we'll conquer five. So, easy tech, uh, never have done a will conquer a world war one game before. 
Actually, they did it in World Congress in European War Three, but there was no general back then. So I'm not sure. I'm not really sure how they're gonna make it in. But what I believe is that if they manage to take to to do either World War One or World War Two, they have to fix their mistake of having a general. Some general were committed. Uh, were accused of having a bad reputation during the war, committed atrocity, and also committed crime. So some generals were banned in Europe in World Conquer Four. So hopefully, World Conquer Five, either World War One or World War Two. Hopefully, they added all those uh, general, which is I mean they're really good. I mean having their present and having a lot of general will also affect the player choices of having a lot of general. If you compare to European War Three, Three European War Four, and World Conquer. Uh, and three and European War six. I would say those general are a bit balanced. In European War four, you have bronze, you have silver, and you have gold. Uh, and European War six, you have artillery, you have you have the artillery section, you have the cavalry section, you have the infantry section, and lastly you have the naval uh, sections. And all those are mixed together. So that's the quality point of European War six. And will the content last longer? What do I mean by that? What I mean is that will the campaign be a lot? Will there be a lot of challenges? Will there be a lot of conquests? If you compare the last game Easy Tech have made to World European War Six, you can tell. I know that the European War Six is freaking hard, but if you compare, let's say we have the American campaign, Canadian campaign, Grand Columbia campaign, French campaign, British campaign, uh, a German campaign, Russian campaign, Italy campaign. Italian actually, Italian campaign, uh, British campaign, and the last one which is Turkish. So it's eleven, right? Eleven, eleven campaign. So many campaign. And what about the conquest? There are five. Seventeen ninety eight. Uh, I think no, seventeen seventy. No, seventeen ninety eight, right? Yeah, I think it's five until eighteen twelve. Until 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 eighteen fifteen. So eighteen. Sorry, uh, seventeen ninety eight. Eighteen o six. 18 oh no, it's 1804, right? 04, 04, 06, 1812, and 1815. So we have five, five of them. That's a lot of conquest to play with. We have so many nations in that. And if you talk about challenge, damn, you have the five general challenge. You got Lennox, you got uh, John, you got uh, the other one, which is Simon, or Sid yeah, Sydney. And the other one, which is uh, the cavalry, and then the Russian cavalry as well. So you got so many uh, challenge, and the other challenge was also like the Rus uh, the uh, Prussian challenge, uh, the Hundred Days challenge, the Spanish War challenge, the Crimean War challenge. There are so many stuff, and also we have the multiplayer, yeah, as well. So the uh, the other one, which is the multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer in World Conquer 4, there's no multiplayer. World Conquer 3, there's no multiplayer. World Conquer 5, I hope they have multiplayer in World Conquer 5. Uh, I think they're gonna give us the old thing happen in European World 6. Uh, not really a thing, I guess, because um, if you guys think about it, let's just let's just think about it a moment. Uh, you can also you can only play lands, right? If you if you if you remember from Glory of General to Ace, there's a multiplayer where you meet other player, but you only meet their legion. Remember that you only meet their troops. You don't control it directly, and they don't control it directly either. So that's it. Yeah, that's that's the multiplayer thing, which is there's no real time interaction, but there's a legion interaction between the troops. And in European War 6, we got a multiplayer where we can play against each other, but we have to play near each other. There's no multiplayer online. There is only a multiplayer on Bluetooth and different internet. That's how it works. So, and the final question, why the game is never free since the first release? As a matter of fact, if you compare from uh, World Conquer 3 or European War 3, you can say that there's a lot of different from the game, the content, the graphics, the mechanism, the engine, the style, all the different. Why? Because we supported them. Some game were released free, some game were released paid. So 
if you look from World Conquer 3 until now, all the games are paid. All easy tech games are paid. Why? I know they need money, but those money isn't just going to their pockets and they're gonna have to go to club and drink every night. No, they have to pay taxes, they have to pay for their own personal thing, they have to pay for employees, they have to hire a designer, they have to, they have to hire IT technician, they have to hire a promoting uh, developer, they have to hire them in different things. And to see a Chinese company that has ability to attract a lot of fans across the globe, to have ability to manage to give fun, give history, teaching history by gaming to a lot of people across the globe. That is an amazing thing. And I believe that $1 isn't that expensive if you compare to other games, other big games uh, such as Assassin's Creed, Odyssey, uh, Warcraft, Warcraft, you are paid in, in subscription, right? Assassin's Creed Odyssey, hundred dollars, sixty dollars, fifty dollars, depends. So it's fifty times different, and you guys enjoy it on your emulator, on your Android, on your PC, and it, it costs only one dollars. And if you guys want to buy a premium general, that is up to you guys, okay? And yes, so that's it for uh, uh, this video of Will Conquer Five. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and sorry for a bit long, uh, because I have just gathered some information from. Uh, the internet and also have some talks with other administrator and also other uh, modders where well regarding the new easy set games which is World Conqueror 5. So hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to leave a like. Hope you guys have a nice weekend and don't forget to join EFC community if you guys want more information. See you guys next time. Have a nice day.